Last year we developed something called the new Cracky system. People have heard of Cracky before, which is a powerless hydroponic system based on the principle of the roots sit in the water and as the fluid level drops, the roots fill up the top of the box, blah, blah, blah. We developed a different one so that we can always keep topping the box right up, which means you can use a smaller box. You also have the ability to keep taking your canister out, take it away for overwintering, bring it back in the spring, pop it back into there with the baby planting, which you've seen earlier, I took a photo of it this morning, one that sprang back. But how do you make it work? Now what it is, two two litre rose pots, one gets cut around there, and a hole drilled in there for the plant to come out the top of. The bit that you took off the bottom goes around the bottom of there to make the collar, which is this bit here, so that, that now locks into there. A little holes drilled in for the roots to poke through. The clay board is what you use to root it with. That plant's been grown in soil, it wasn't started in hydroponics, it was a soil plant. It is a scorpion smooth, but I want to transfer it to that. So we're going to be rough and knock it out. See, it hasn't been in this for long. <clears throat> we're going to knock as much of this off as we can. And normally they say, with hydroponics, soil's no good. So basically we want as much of this off as we can get. Looks a bit rough. I suppose it is. get down to the basics. It's usually easier if you let your plant dry out before doing this so you can get as much off as possible. And I'm just gonna get a little now there's a little bit of water just to help wash the rest off. Warm water obviously because otherwise you give your plant root shock. See the roots? Looks brutal, doesn't it? But all I'm doing is I'm just teasing bits of soil off and getting to the roots. done with a bit better but it's only a demonstration that'll do me I'm gonna get some more of that off there There's probably people screaming at me over this right, well anyway so I've got the root you can get the idea shift that right there you go, canister. That pops off. That bit there will feed through there, like that. Clear balls. Now that's clear balls up to where the holes at the bottom of the pot finishes. <coughs> Once they're there, pop that down. Get that nice and level. And now it's the yard a bit.
once you've got your clay balls in, you just give your plant a little jiggle up and down, and then put more in. And you're just covering the top of them roots. Them roots will become the air roots later on. And yes, there's easier ways you can use a scoop. The main thing is to cover those roots that you've left exposed there. fluid which will be filled with feed now the box I put a tap on just in case anything goes wrong so I could drain the fluid out put that on now sit in there and the roots will grow down into the box blah blah and what that is is a one pound box from the local pound shop um, they come with a lid which is that lid all drilled in so you can fill it up with water all drilled in for the canister to sit in it's as simple as that. And that will just sit somewhere in the leg. I hope it was straightforward. I'll give you a little hint on feed. So if Dan just wants to focus on that. expensive part of this is one of these things which is an electrical conductivity meter somebody at the door I'll be two seconds sorry about that <coughs> so yeah the electrical conductivity meter. You can pick them up for about a tenner. Phil Blake got one for three pound fifty, so they're not expensive. That's a pound. Two two litre rose pots. And that's all you need because you don't need the tap. The tap was only an added precaution. Anyway, it's on zero. Put it in the water. You tell it to hold. And I get a reading. My tap water is six hundred and sixty-eight parts per million which is rubbish really because it should be zero if you can possibly get it but I've got bad water so what we want to do because it's a old established plant is add some feed and we add that and we give it a stir Let me take another reading. That didn't do much at all. Another stir. Not really well at all. stick to stir <coughs> right. 1,280 parts per million which is about bang on where I want it to be 1,250 I really want it to be but I'm not going to start draining none out Tap on, and it's done. One plant converted from Newt to Cracky, from Soil to Cracky. <laughs> 